Let's cook masala chicken with me. Welcome back to Creative's Kitchen and let's cook ch masala chicken with me today. Here we have 500 grams of boneless chicken thigh in this bowl and we are going to season boneless skinless chicken thigh. And now we are going to season. First we are going to add some barbecue season and chicken season to our boneless chicken thigh. Second, we, we have some garlic powder, one teaspoon for garlic powder we had to, the chicken, and some paprika. So as we had our paprika onto our chicken, we are going to massage the season into the chicken to give it that lovely, nice flavor. We add some chopped seasoning here, which is bell pepper, hot chili pepper, one chopped onion, three cloves of garlic, and ginger. We grate our ginger and our garlic, and now we're going to add the garlic and the ginger to the chicken. The added season will be added later with the onion and lemon. Now we had our ginger and garlic. Just rub the ginger and the garlic into the chicken so it's all combined. Here is our glass tray. Put one tablespoon full of olive oil in your glass tray and spread it at the bottom. Then place your chicken. Now we're going to place the chicken into the tray and place it into the oven. Guys, we now have 60 ml of lemon juice and we're going to pour some of half of this lemon juice onto the chicken. And the rest of the lemon juice, we will mix that with some honey and add when the chicken is halfway through. We have some fresh rosemary and we are just going to use a few stick of it over the chicken. The rosemary is optional. So now, as our chicken is ready to cook, we are going to put the chicken in the oven for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, remove the chicken and add the rest of chopped seasoning, onion and lemon, and place it back into the oven. Now that our chicken is in the oven, we are going to cook the pasta to serve with the chicken. So now we are putting our pasta in some boiling water and olive oil no added salt these are the pasta guys I use these pasta because i find they taste a lot more nicer and they easier to maintain when you boil them they don't go a bit soggy more i, I believe they're a better quality pasta so i tend to use these ones a lot i'll put the name of the pasta in the description below sorry i haven't showed you the package I cook my pasta and follow the instruction on the package and if you don't comfortable with using this pasta you can use any pasta of your choice the pasta that is your likeness that you are comfortable with so now as our pasta is left to boil I'm going to make our pasta sauce and the pasta sauce I'm making is just going to be a very simple easy basic pasta sauce and this go lovely with our chicken quite easy to make so now we have one tablespoon full of olive oil in our pan and one chopped onion with three cloves of garlic so one chopped onion three cloves of garlic and as we let the garlic and the onion soften then we had some bell pepper and some chopped chili pepper 
into the pasta we do not have a lot of chili pepper just a small amount if you feel you need more just add to your taste so as I soften the season Now that our seasoning is softened, we ha I had one box of tomato puree to the softened season and mix until everything is combined. Then one teaspoonful of dry basil. If you like more dry basil, you can add another half teaspoon. But one teaspoonful of dry basil into the softened onions and garlic and chili pepper and one box of tomato puree mix until combined Add half teaspoonful of salt. Now we're going to add two sets of cheese, mozzarella and cheddar grated cheese to the sauce and mix until the cheese is dissolved. Now that our sauce is finished, we'll place our pasta into the sauce, but first we're going to check on our chicken. Now add the rest of ingredients to the chicken, only mix in lemon juice and the rest of chopped bell pepper, chili pepper and spring onion. And place chicken back in oven for another 15 minutes. Now let's mix the onion and the lemon juice together and add this to the chicken with the rest of chop seasoning. Add three tablespoonful of honey to lemon juice and mix until it's dissolved. Then pour, pour honey and lemon juice over chicken and had the rest of chopped season placed back in oven for 15 minutes. Now that we had all the ingredients to the chicken, now we place it back in the oven and finish up our pasta. And we're back to our pasta now. Now we had in our pasta to the sauce. And what we'll do with this, we just mix our sauce into our pasta and in a few minutes, we are ready to serve. So we're gonna plate this out in a plate and this is a lovely, delicious family dish. Look at this mouth watering and tasty delicious pasta and chicken dish. Ain't this good for the family? 
I hope you love cooking this recipe with me today and I hope you enjoy this dish. If you like this recipe, if you're first time on this channel, thanks for watching and welcome to the family. And if you like this dish and these video, don't forget to turn the thumbs up and subscribe to receive weekly delicious dinner and lunch and breakfast. And don't forget to send your comment. Continue watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Enjoy. Bye.